We've got Leo Martinez here with us from Nebraska Enterprise Fund talking about Facebook ads today. Yay. Good. Well, it's in that almost morning, right? It's afternoon. I hope that everybody is doing great. Um, I am trying to drop, uh, well, as, as we go through the, through the webinar, I'll try to drop the slides for any of you that would like to, um, to get a copy of them. And then I'm sure that we can probably email them uh, as soon as the webinar is over as well, if anybody of you have or would like to uh, get a copy of them. Uh, thank you so much, Bree, for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Blue Space, for allowing us to bring this to the community. Again, my name is Leo Martinez. I am a loan officer, business mentor at Nebraska Enterprise Fund. And Nebraska Enterprise Fund is a community um, financial institution that helps businesses get access to capital, training, um, and mentorship. And if any of you are in need of any of those, feel free to contact me at the end of the webinar. I'll be sharing my contact information as well. We have, uh, we'll be talking about why, uh, well, it's actually when, why, and how to use uh, Facebook ads to, for your business. So this is gonna be an hour, uh, roughly a little bit less than an hour. I'm gonna open it up to questions, hopefully. Um, before that, so I'm sure that you're going to have plenty of questions. If you happen to have questions while I'm speaking, feel free to drop the questions uh, in the chat, and I'll try to check in periodically um, through the presentation. And I am trying to share my screen real quick. And if you can please drop your business name or what industry are you on on the chat. So I can um, kind of piggyback on what your business industry is. It will be amazing. I always love to learn more about your business, uh, see what industries there are out there that, uh, that we can help with. And uh, Brie, can you give me a thumbs up on, um, on the screen? Can you see me? Can you see yep, this? we're looking good. I can see it. Awesome. Good deal. All right. So, well, let's start with the basics. And uh, the basics are going to be talking about when. When is it a good time or a good idea for you to utilize Facebook ads for your business? Um, one of the things that you need to think about when you are uh, thinking about creating an ad is, first of all, have an, ob an objective whether it's going to be able to bring traffic to your website, engagement to your Facebook page, or um, either generate leads for your business. If you wanna, if it's a nonprofit or it's an organization and you wanna bring brand awareness to the community, uh, maybe you have an online shop and you want more visitors to your, um, to your page or your, or your site. Think about the objectives that you are going to be or the reason why you're going to be utilizing Facebook ads. Now, the, the second thing that you also need to be aware of is who is your audience? Who will be the demographics? Who are you really targeting your product, your services, or your information uh, to? Think about the location. Think about if it's going to be local, if you're going to go international, um, if you're going to go statewide, or if you're just going to go uh, you know, any other state besides uh, Nebraska. So it's very important for you to, to analyze before you even start uh, thinking about what is gonna go into your ad. The other thing is thinking of, the, of what will be the best way for you to present your information or present your, your content. Is it gonna be in a video? Is it gonna be better perceived in a video? Is it gonna be on, on, on a slideshow? Uh, could it be maybe just an image? Um, nowadays, you can create car carousels where you can have multiple pictures on your ad. Um, thinking about the implementation and the delivery of your ad is, is very important. And one of the obvious uh, questions out there, but not very many people think about it. Um, believe me, I have gone through that uh, with clients of my own, is a budget. A lot of people don't realize how much uh, or how little can you really spend on an ad. Um, and it's very important for you to think about that before you start getting your, your ad campaign. 
Now, again, if you have, um, you know, a, a, a budget allocated for your advertising, make sure that you have the exact dollar amount that you're going to be able to utilize for any campaign, whether it's Facebook or, or anything else. Uh, now, Facebook is great at providing you with tools that is going to be able to allow you to actually pinpoint all of this uh, information that you need. That is why it's so important for you to create a, a business Facebook page and not just run your business on a personal page. You're able to bring analytics to your, uh, to your business. You're going to be able to uh, specify it, uh, and learn who is your audience exactly on your page as we're going to be find out here shortly. Um, there is a tool on their insights where you can go and can monitor your post. You can be monitoring your activity on your page. This is not um, all out there for a personal page. Uh, a lot of my clients that are starting up as business owners, they tend to open up a personal business, uh, Facebook page um, just because it's easy and they run their home businesses like that. The problem with that is that it limits yourself to only 5,000 followers on your personal account versus uh, a business, you have much more uh, availability for you to grow your business. And it gives you these amazing tools where you can actually monitor your post uh, and your audience. And one of the, the amazing things that this gives you is demographics as well. One, it gives you the ability for, for you to find out when and where your posts are better doing, uh, either date of the day or time of the day, but your demographics as well. It gives you a chance to find out is it more women who are following your page? Is it more men? Uh, what languages, what uh, countries, if they are visiting your page? And this is very, very useful when you're trying to build a, an ad campaign because then you are gonna be able to target the specific audience that you're gonna be able to, to showcase your products or your services to. Um, all right, so, let me ask you a quick question um, on the chat real quick. How many of you have ever run a Facebook ad um, or either a newspaper ad, a magazine ad, any kind of advertising for your business in the past? Um, please leave your, uh, your question or your answer in the chat. I'm more than happy to, to read those through it. It's just, um, oh, awesome. So you have done done Facebook, that's great. Um, anybody else? I'm just so curious to see because there's so many other avenues there that you can um, that you can utilize, and we're gonna go go through it and see that uh, later on. But uh, how how can you measure the exposure that you get when you do it a magazine uh, or when you do a newspaper or when you do a billboard? Um, how are you are able to, to know whether your money is being better spent there? I have a client who spent over $2,000 on direct mail campaign, and he only got a couple of uh, calls from, from the advertising that he did. And, and, you know, how do you really measure it? And this is why it's a great way to advertise on Facebook because you have great tools to do it. You can download an app and monitor on your Facebook management, uh, I'm sorry, manager app, you can do it within the ad itself, or you can go into your business manager for all your pages or your businesses and actually monitor from there, which is great. Especially if you know that you're spending big bucks on a campaign, you wanna make sure that you're spending it wisely and you're able to get the best, uh, the best buck at your, at your, uh, your campaign. I have a quick activity for you all. Um, that I want you to kind of take a look at and, and, and work with. Uh, and so this is just a quick uh, campaign that was thrown out as a, um, in the past. Uh, one of the questions that I want you to ask yourself when you are uh, getting ready to advertise your product is the following. And these are just four questions that I would like, that I want you to ask yourself. Uh, one of them, is it, again, the objective? What do you want for your ad and what do you want your ad to do? Um, and, and you can, you know, either, again, is it store visits, self-brand awareness, traffics, all that stuff. 
what did you want your, your, either your followers or your audience to know about your business? What do you want them to know? Uh, is there something that you either want to showcase a new event coming up, a new product that you're working on? Um, then the other one thing that I want you to, to ask yourself is, am I ready to do it? Uh, not, there's a saying that not because you can, you should. So are you ready to, to really engage in a Facebook ad, whether you have the knowledge to do it or you have the means, uh, in this case, money to do it? And the last one is how long do you want your ad campaign to go for? Do you want it, is that just a two day event? Is it just a one day event? Uh, do you want it to be uh, multiple days coming up to year, um, to the due date or the deadline when your product is gonna launch? Uh, that is very important for you to consider before you, uh, you start your, your ad campaign. All right, awesome. Any questions so far? Um, about any of these. Uh, if you do have any, feel free to drop it in the chat. Awesome, I have a night yet, I have a Facebook, that's awesome. I love it, you guys, it's just, it's, it's really cool uh, to see that, that, that you have tried it be, uh, before. All right, so this is just something for you to take a look at uh, on, on this mini challenge that, I, that I'm trying to you. Um, Things that I want you to pay to pay attention when you're doing something like this. We talked about uh, a magazine or a newspaper. How can you track it? I want you to be very vigilant on this right here on the dra the traffic that you're driving to your page or to the event. It's very important for you to take a look at a specific Facebook post that you have done, and take a look on how good has that done with your audience. Is that a good post and that has engaged with your audience? Try to, to take a look at it and what are the, the aspects of the post? Is it a topic? Is it the image? Is it the content? And then try to recreate it so you can be, get better uh, outcome on your, um, on your ads. All right, good deal. Now, the why. The why you should be using Facebook ads for your, uh, for your business. And it's very down to the basics. One, you, uh, you can very really, you can spend very little money on, on Facebook and get great, uh, great results. It's, it's fairly inexpensive in comparison to any other channel, uh, channels that you utilize for advertisement. Again, the tools that you get are amazing. You get so many uh, options that you can definitely pinpoint your audience all the way to whether they're using a Wi-Fi or they're connected to the VIN line. Um, you can go as basic as including everybody on your Facebook page to pinpoint uh, is there a male or female, whether they have an Android, whether they have an iPhone, whether they're living the States, whether they're not, is the tools are incredible. I don't know if you have realized a few weeks ago there's been uh, facebook twitter have been under the microscope uh, for all the privacy issues that they've been that they're having in congress uh, unfortunately this is good for all of you that are trying to uh, attract a specific people uh, facebook does uh, collects a lot of information from users that is beneficial for people that are trying to uh, increase their brand and um, actually, you know, target a specific audience. So that's good for you, not so so much for the consumer, but for the business aspect, it is really good. Uh, and also, you are able to measure your um, your ads, which is huge. Otherwise, you don't know where your money is. So this is just a little comparison between um, newspapers and the the traditional um, channels of advertisement. You can see that uh, the cost for, uh, hold on, let me highlight it real quick. The cost for uh, every thousand people to be reached from a newspaper, you can spend up to 32,000 for, for that. And the magazine is going, going down, cable TV, uh, Google ads, Facebook, you can start as little as 25 cents. Um, now, now that's just people reach, it's not per campaign. Uh, you can start your campaign uh, with as little as $5, if I'm not mistaken, last time I, last time I check. Uh, and you can create different budgets, which we're going to be talking a little bit about more into it. 
Um, so what do you think would be the best budget that you have right now to spend on, on, on Facebook ads? If you can drop it on your on, on the chat, would be great. How much money do you have right now to allocate to your Facebook ad um, uh, in comparison to this? It, it would be great for you to have that uh, that amount for you uh, as uh, as we go forward. Um, all right. Now, here's one thing that I want to talk to you about, and we talked a little bit about on how. Uh, and why you should really buy this. And we talk a little bit about demographics and the tools that Facebook gives you. Uh, we are able to pinpoint exactly what we want. Um, hold on, I grab the pen, this one right here. All right. So say that you are a boutique and, or an online shop, and you know that you're selling, you know, mostly uh, women tired. Then you want to make sure your gender that you select is your, your exact demographic that you're trying to reach. Who is your tar uh, target audience? What age is your demographic that you're trying to reach? Is it someone that already has a, a job? Then more than likely it's gonna be someone between either 18, you know, to who is your, your the end of your target audience? Um, in this case, we have up to 65, uh, but if you're really targeting uh, middle-aged women that you can change the 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 age criteria here if you're trying to to gather more inform or, or reach a younger audience you can also do that is your store local are you able to ship uh, either international or nationwide if you're able to to do that then you can select multiple uh, states all in one app it doesn't you don't have to pay separate for every state you don't have to pay anything uh, separate for uh, each city. You can include any of the cities and state that you want into, uh, but if you're not, if you don't have the ability to ship other than locally, then I would advise you to obviously just stay local uh, or at least make a radius of your delivery uh, options. And all of these, you can find it on the settings uh, and the insight on your Facebook page, which is, it's amazing. Um, you're able to pinpoint exactly who do you want to target. Um, I believe there's someone on the chat. Give me one sec. All right, that's not that's not bad. That's a healthy budget. Um, I think that is a that, that can get you quite uh, quite a few views. That's a very healthy budget. The question with that is, do you want all of that to be in one campaign, or you want to do it per day? Uh, you want to break it down into different sections. Um, my advice to all of you who are planning on to do a a plan an ad campaign is to at least target your audience at least a month before your product services uh, launches. You know, start leaving uh, some of the breadcrumbs uh, for your business, trying to uh, advertise it without even using Facebook ads. If you have your Facebook, Instagram, make sure that you start dropping something in your stories. Hey, there's something cooking uh, that is gonna be coming up next, uh, here shortly or start giving some uh, ideas to your client that is something coming up. And then you can start utilizing the money to start reaching more people. All right. Now, and this is something that I want you guys to, to take a look at. And you can, again, this can be shared with you. Um, if you want to, just let me know on the chat that you want a copy of them and we'll send them to you. We'll make sure that you get them. Um, I want you to take very close. Uh, if you want to take notes, I'll, I'll, I'll wait a little bit. Um, make sure that you understand the difference between the organic and the paid ads. Um, obviously, the paid ads are something that Facebook is gonna be able to push out to more people. However, those people are not the people that know you yet. So you wanna be very specific on what, they, on what you want them to do. The organic traffic is people who already know your brand, who already know your business, who already know you uh, and trust you more than likely. And you want them to be able to do either the same or something different that will be able to get you more either sales, leads, whatever your objective is. Um, make sure that you think about your, your ad placement. Um, where do you want them to, to, to be displayed? Now this, again, Facebook has WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook right now. You can advertise across all three platforms. Um, just trying to find out where your audience is. Uh, and then one of the most important things uh, we already talked about is your budget. 
and, and how do you want your budget to be spread out. Um, now, <laughs> these are just points for you to know. Uh, oh, and this is how it really creates uh, a great ad. It is just only three points, uh, but it's very easy for people to miss. The very first point is so easy to uh, to miss. You're so focused on creating it that a lot of the times, believe me, I have talked to many business owners that I that I uh, work with. They don't um, sit down and and make clear what goal they want. Um, they know they want an ad. They want. They know they need sales. A lot of the times, they don't sit down and actually think through the goal that they want, uh, the, all the outcome that they want out of, out of the whole campaign. Please do so. If you need to, you know, turn off the music and draw dump ideas on a piece of paper on your whiteboard, um, and then just go through a brainstorm one session. Make sure that you plan, 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 and then plan some more before you you start spending money. Uh, because obviously, as a small business, as a small business owner myself, uh, advertising money doesn't come that easy. It's so important, but it does not come that easy. So you need to make sure that you plan, 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 and again, plan some more. Um, make sure that you know your audience. Make sure that you know who is that you want to target and who is that is going to get you the best uh, the best result for your uh, for your business. Um, and then make sure that you rotate. Do not I don't know. I'm sure that you've seen this before when you're uh, on Facebook. You've seen quite a few ads. Um, it's under under the name of the business. It says sponsored. That's how you know where it's an ad. Um, you see the same thing every time. I know I am guilty of. I have clicked on it and put not interested uh, just because I have seen it so many times. So, so be cautious of that. Um, get to know your clients. Get to know what they want, and, and, and you'll be good about that. Um, I want to open it up to quick questions right now. I know uh, I know there's probably a few people that have some questions about either budgeting or how to start on some things. Um, I don't think I have seen anybody dropping in your industry. I would love to know your industry. So um, I'm going to try to drop the slides on the chat. As, um, and then feel free to drop your industry so I know what businesses do we have in the house right now. It would be super nice to, to talk about your industry. Uh, maybe I can take some um, examples out of your industry and we can talk about them. And then, let's see. Ooh, cosmetics. Protein, you mean like, uh, like, Protein, like as in a gym, like oh, photography. That's awesome. Oh, video will be great for you on the photography aspect. Even if you do a carousel with with your clients, yeah, supplements, awesome. Yeah, maybe you can. Maybe what you can do with your supplements, you can um, get testimonials, thirty seconds, less than thirty seconds testimonials, um, and then get it into a carousel, or even just do a little. Uh, video collage of your uh, of your clients giving giving some um, feedback on the product that they have got i think that would be great uh, that is super amazing i love photography um i am not that great at it but i do my best sometimes but i think photography is awesome especially now at holidays um you can either be running a special or you can always be running a you know there's a lot of COVID babies coming up so uh you can definitely do a a campaign for for COVID babies uh, and kind of do some shooting for like that. Oh, awesome! I love it. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. That would be super cool. I'll hit you up if you uh, if you leave your name or something. I'll, I'll more than happy to do it. Awesome! I love it. I love it. See, this is why it's so weird. I used to teach these classes live and it's so amazing engaging with people that sometimes on, on, on Zoom, you think you're just talking to yourself and, and when you see, you know, when you get you guys talking back, it's just so amazing. I love it. All right, so let's keep going because I want to open it up to questions um, here shortly. We got about another 
10 minutes or so, uh, and then I'll open it up to questions. But keep dropping your comments, uh, your questions. I would love to answer any of them um, as we go through it. I know there's more than three people out there, so feel free to, to drop your questions um, in the chat, and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. All right, so choose your audience and how to really uh, use them for your benefit. Um, there's a tool, it's, it's very, uh, it's amazing how how that tool has got so many people uh, engaged in a lot of the, the businesses that I have worked with. And, and we'll talk about it here in a little bit, but I want you to be aware of the tools that you, that you have at your disposal. Uh, and, and this one right here is the one that I love, I love the most. If you have a client, especially if you have your Shopify or your Etsy or any of the shops already linked to your Facebook, um, and you already have uh, the, 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 uh, the ability to, to get uh, analytics out of that, you are able to actually get lookalike audiences from the people who have already purchased from you or who already been commenting on your posts or who have been following you or engaging with your content, you're able to actually specify that you want lookalike clients. And they'll look, what Facebook will do, will they grab their gender, their age, um, their hobbies, their likes, their dislikes. And because Facebook is a monster, they have ways to go back into each people's profile and be able to drone the most lookalike um, uh, audience that you can choose from. So I really, really like this one when you're trying to maximize your uh, your money on your on your advertising for your Facebook. The other thing that I do like though is again, if you're an app developer, um, if you again if you in this case uh, if you are looking to reach a specific customer, say that your app is only available on Google Play, which uh, I'm not sure really how much. Uh, a lot of the times you already have on both of them, but say that you are just on Google Play uh, Store. You're able to select Android users uh, when you're customizing your audience. Say that you are, uh, in this case, in the um, in the beauty industry with the cosmetics. Um, a lot of it is statistically proven that a lot of the, the, the downtime that we have is Sunday afternoon. Uh, and sometimes it's weird, but Monday is really high on engagement. I don't know why. I just think it's because nobody really likes to work on Mondays. Don't quote me on that. But you can choose, you can go into your insights, see what the highest time that people have seen your content. And you can go and select for your cosmetics, you can go and select that you, you want your audience to be connected to Wi Fi. Now, why is that so important? Because you are able to. Has specified that it's very possible that your audience are already at home because they're connected to their Wi Fi. They're already, uh, you can select it to be at night, so they're on downtime. I know we put our kids down to bed around 7 8, and I know my wife and I go, go and read a book. Um, sometimes I'm guilty of it. We're going to TikTok or whatnot, so we'll probably be on Facebook for a little bit before going to bed. Um, so that way you can actually target specifically for women, uh, you can select uh, mobile devices, you can select Wi-Fi, because they're connected at home, they're on their mobile device, they're females because you're, that's what your target audience, and you can select the age group that you want them to be shown. Um, so this is very good for you if you're trying to really, really pinpoint on a specific audience and not really just a lookalike uh, customer. Uh, and then you have your core audiences, which means the people that are been following you, that have been on your page, um, and then just really uh, go into that. So then, see, um, again, uh, we when we are talking about ad, ad placement, we want to make sure that we that we specify where do we want them or where do we want the ad to be displayed. Uh, this really all depends on, um, you know. On your ability to provide the products and services to your clients. If you have an Etsy or online shop, or and, and you're able to work with um, with the suppliers where they can just ship anywhere, and you don't have to have the product on hand, then you know knock yourself out and then go to Canada or any places that they ship to. Uh, honestly, you have a great advantage there, especially if the supplier is going to be able to uh, subsidize or, or 
uh, ship it from, from you. Uh, I'm sorry, ship the product for you. That's what I meant to say. Um, all right. And then again, we talked already about uh, age and gender. This is huge though. Language is huge. I have a restaurant. It's a Mexican restaurant who uh, the number one demographic there is women. Uh, language is English. Second is Spanish, um, and which is amazing. I mean, you would think. Uh, but then the third one is actually um, Portuguese. Don't ask me how, but that way you know. Now, Facebook is able to translate it uh, to different languages, so you don't have to really hire anybody to do the translation for you. If you don't know Portuguese, which I don't, uh, you are able to actually be able to create the ad in multiple languages, uh, and you don't have to pay extra for um, the additional ad that you're going to create on top. Um, one thing that we haven't really talked about is uh, interest, uh, but you're able to actually tag your your uh, ad for a specific interest. For example, uh, besides lending and mentoring, I do health and fitness on my end. So you can tag it for anything that has to do with, in this case, with uh, supplements, you can do something like that where you have a specific interest on in that, and that is really gonna help you with. Uh, we talked about uh, look about audiences, and this is an activity that I want to point out really quick for you guys. Uh, now, soccer is liked by men and women alike. Uh, it's played by men and women alike. And so the demographic there is really anybody who enjoys the sport. Uh, so you very you can really be broad on this one. However, MLS is only uh, in the U.S. So it'd be very wise for you to, if you, in this case, let's say that, that we're working with this client um, and specifically the team that we're working with, unfortunately we don't have one in Nebraska, but let's say that we're talking with uh, the Chicago Fires, that you wanna make sure that you target Chicago uh, itself. If you wanna you know, advertise your event coming up, your new game, your sale, your ticket sales, uh, merchandise, anything like that. Be very specific. However, if you're talking as a broad, and you're talking about the MLS altogether, then you can more definitely open it up for the entire state. Same thing with your cosmetics, with your supplements, um, and then obviously your photography. I would assume that if you are able to travel anywhere with right now with COVID, um, that will be something that you might be looking into. But if you are trying to stay local, uh, then that will be something more different that you wanna make sure that you select uh, now, another thing that we want to take a look and we want to make sure that we take in consideration is your ad placement. Now, Facebook gives you the option uh, when you're creating your ad on how is it going to look like in different platforms. Uh, make sure that it aligns to one, your client, to your product, and three, the way that you're going to be uh, promoting your, your, uh, your product. We already talked about ways that you can connect to uh, I specify whether their people are connected on the Wi-Fi. More than likely, I have a laptop, but I don't really use. I usually, I really don't usually use it <laughs> um, on my bed, and usually on my phone or my tablet. Um, so if you are doing uh, different hours of the day, then try to kind of think about what would you be doing at that time yourself. What device would you be on? Um, is it better? view on an iPad is a better view on a, on, a, on a phone or a computer, something to really think about. Um, the other thing that we want to think about again is the time of the day and how frequent you want your, uh, your ad to be displayed. You want to make sure, again, um, if you are trying to promote a, some sort of, um, well, in this case, a supplement, uh, and they're, and they're going to be able to either their pre-workout, uh, post-workout, uh, and your target audience are people who go to the gym very early in the morning, either more than likely they're gonna be asleep already by 11, um, because obviously they gotta wake up at 4.35. Um, so you wanna make sure that your ad is not running in the morning while they are at the gym doing their stuff. You wanna make sure that you do it before or right after that. 
Um, so, so that's why it's so important to take a look at the tools that Facebook gives you to be able to pinpoint the time that you should be able to get the more traffic um, out of that. And then again, the, 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 the way that you're able to rerun them a specific time. So you can say that if you want them to run Monday through Friday and you want them to run in the afternoon uh, or in the morning, or you want to run them in the morning on Mondays, in the morning on Wednesdays, but in the afternoon on Fridays, Saturdays, because it, probably people are already out doing their own thing. So you have flexibility on the way that you create uh, the times and you schedule them. Uh, you can schedule them as far as I believe 90 days. Uh, you should be able to schedule them in advance and you can schedule them uh, with your budget as well. So, hold on, let me see if we have any more questions on the chat. Uh, once an ad is created, can that specific ad be edited? Um, yes and no. Once the ad is created and it's been already sent, you can edit it, but the, per the people who already got it are not necessarily going to get a revised version of it. Um, maybe could you be a little more specific on what edits do you make? Um, so for example, if a link has to go out, if you're generating leads and you have a freebie, uh, for example, you know, five ways to you to better use ISO or tips on how to use lighting for your in-house photography, or uh, if you have a, uh, you know, a freebie that you want people get to get in exchange for their email, then, uh, then you want to make sure that the link is, is hot uh, or live at, at all times. Otherwise, you're not going to get the lead generation that you want. Uh, oh, awesome. Yeah, if, if you're just going to edit it, some, some stuff that you can. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Now, all right. Any other questions? I have a, a cheat sheet that you can use uh, here in the next slide that I want you guys to either screenshot it or write it down or, or the reason why I want to stress that out is because you would not believe how many people I have helped um, and they don't they don't take a look at the basics like the very very basics uh, when creating an ad and so I'm gonna uh, hold on. there all right so we talked about it Again, you'll be amazed of how many people just miss the basics. So please, 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 when thinking about your ad placement, your ad distribution, um, make sure that you take a look at this chart. Again, screenshot it, take notes, whatever you want to do. Make sure that you go one by one and and, and really deep down, what is your demographic? Um, and who really is your age group that you're trying to, to do? I mean, for example, if we're talking about photography, which again, I really like, I'm not really that great at it, but I'm, I'm good with it. Um, I, I just have kids, I have two little girls. So my first kiddo, I have no idea how many pictures I took, but they're probably a thousand, uh, just in the first week when she was born. Uh, so you want to make sure that if you are really going into the age group that you really uh, did your homework and, and see the likelihood whether an 18 year old 19 year old 20 year old 35 year old 40 year old what would be the best i mean you have grandmas that would possibly would like to have some some obviously some sessions with their kids um you also have uh, younger kids um so it's really really going into defining what age group you want. Um, gender, you know, in that case, it could be both of them. You can you can target both of them. The age group will be huge though. Um, your language, obviously, whoever you are able to work with. So if you're bilingual, uh, then that'll work for you. If not, then obviously, um, you specify whatever language you're, you're more likely to work with. Um, obviously, because you're the one shooting, make sure that you get your location there. Um, and your interests, again, uh, you know, parenting, huge, uh, mom, dad, single mom, single dad, 
anything like that that is that is relevant to your uh, to your product. Same thing with the supplements, um, with the cosmetics as well. Uh, I know there's probably more than just that. So I'm gonna open it up to questions really quick. Um, hold on one second. How do I do? Oh, there it is. All right. So we got we got a few time. We got about ten more minutes. So I want to open it up to questions for you guys. Either drop it up on the on the on the chat, uh, or I'm not sure if you can unmute yourself or not. But if not, then just drop it up on the chat. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. If there's no questions in the next, say, two three minutes or so, then we can most definitely end uh, the webinar. But I wanted to give you all a chance to to ask any questions, or if you want me to go back and talk uh, about something else, I can't. Um, is there any questions on uh, Facebook at all, uh, Bree, by any chance? Let me double check. Yeah. And I'm going to type in my contact information. Doesn't look like we have any questions on Facebook. Okay. Let's try to sell a product on Facebook, but they want to do free shipping. In... Uh, could you, uh, could you perhaps add the cost of the shipping on your product? Um, you know, it's a lot of times if you're a small business, it's very unlikely that you're gonna eat the charge of um, the packaging fee. Um, I, I mean, was did Facebook wanted you to do free shipping, or was the client who wanted you to do free shipping? Um, are videos add more effective? Uh, statistically, yes, uh, you're, you're more likely to stop and watch a video more than you are uh, to stop and look at a picture. So definitely if you are, uh, I guess, looking into testimonials or stuff like that, or maybe, maybe a video um, uh, product, it'll be great. It doesn't have to be long. You, you can lose your audience in the first five seconds of the video. So make sure that it's engaging. Uh, make sure that you can actually use sequencing uh, different angles, gives you more engagement into the video. You can also throw some text on the video uh, just to keep people engaged. So definitely. Uh, you said Facebook asks you for free shipping. Mm, you know, maybe take a look at the way that you add it to your catalog. Um, I know I have things on Facebook that I have sold, not personally, but through a client, and they're able to specify uh, the shipping rate. I know there's a way that you can uh, add that into it, but I would honestly double check the, the way that you add it to your catalog and also what kind of product you're putting in there. But yeah, I, I wouldn't see why um, you could do free shipping if you're not able to do so. I mean, nowadays, depending on the on on how heavy the item is, it can cost you anywhere from six to fifteen dollars to ship it. So that's a huge chunk of your profit if you have to do free shipping. Do you have? Uh, do you just sell through Facebook, Renee, or do you do you do Shopify or anything like that? Um, I'm not sure. Awesome. All right. Uh, I have added my contact information down in the chat. If any of you wants to uh, either screenshot it or write it down or email me, feel free to do so. I'm more than happy to talk to any of you either on Facebook or any other thing that you might want to. I'd be more than happy to. Um, I don't see any more questions, Bree. Do you? No, but I'm not seeing any. Um... Awesome. 
I was going to plug the uh, second webinar, but I realized it's December. So oh, we do have one. Uh, would you recommend testimonials over simple ads? Um, you know, yes, uh, depending on the product. Um, honestly, if you can get a testimonial from someone, it's obviously huge. Um, and make sure it's not a stage. A lot of the times you have people reading through things. I have seen that. Uh, make sure it's not stage. It's, it's, you can honestly, the simplest videos are the most effective because people um, people see that there's that is uh, real. That's why TikTok is huge because they see the real the, the real people doing the videos. Um, so honestly, if you are able to gather, you know, a few testimonials for your website or for 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 ads, I think that's huge. Honestly. Awesome. All, All right. right. Any other folks? Um, I don't see anybody. I don't see any. But All again, right. I do want to thank Juice Space for giving us space <laughs> and uh, and talking about this and actually sharing it with it, with all of you um, out there. Uh, thank you so much for, for your time and for uh, partnering with us. And, and thank you for coming and speaking, Leo. I really appreciate it. Um, so we don't have our schedule for January set just yet, um, but I, it's safe to say that um, Leo or someone from the Nebraska Enterprise Fund is going to be joining us again in January. So go ahead and check our calendar um, probably in the next couple of weeks and we'll have January and probably February as well uh, out so you all can sign up for that. Um, and if you want to watch this again, it will be on our YouTube channel in a, probably a couple of days. Um, does anybody have any quick questions before we all head out into the world? All right. Well, Leo, thank you for coming and talking to us and everybody have a good day. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Yes.